everybody. Welcome back to the Modern Customer Podcast. I'm your host, Blake Morgan. Today, our show heads to Las Vegas, where we attended the Zendesk Annual Join Relate Conference. I got to spend some time with some of the executives, including Shashi Upadhyay, the president of products and engineering and AI for Zendesk. Shashi oversees product management, engineering, AI design, program management, and trust and security. He is committed to ensuring that Zendesk's product strategy remains agile and cohesive, focusing on helping customers deliver the best experiences. Shashi and I are talking about AI, we're talking about Zendesk's recent technology announcements, and what's important to him when it comes to customer experience. Please enjoy Shashi Upadhyay. Shashi, welcome to the Modern Customer Podcast. It's so nice to see you here, and I really was impressed with your keynote this morning. Thank you, thank you. So this morning you talked a lot about AI and all the exciting announcements. How do you ensure that AI delivers real value to customers? So the great thing about service is that it's really easy to measure the impact of what we do. Okay. So for an AI to be delivering value, it has to provide real resolutions, actually solve a customer's problem. It has to do it fast. It has to do it without making a mistake. And it has to do it in a way where the customer has a great experience and provide high CSAT scores. So we track all of those things and see how they're doing. I like that you say it's so easy because everyone says it's so hard. And, <laughs> but the way you say it, yes, it sounds very simple and very easy, and that's exciting. Can you talk about your approach to integrating engineering and AI teams without adding complexity for customers or employees? Yeah, another great question. So, you know, one of the things about AI is, is that they have been um, not always been uh, reliable when they first come out, right? And I often tell my teams that uh, an AI is less like a piece of traditional software. It's more like a really smart intern that you've hired to do a job. And so you have to train them and you have to put guardrails on them and you have to show them the rules. And we are in a space where the AI is moving, the, the entire space of AI is moving very, very fast. And the entire workload of engineering has been uh, kind of designed around building stable systems, but sort of doing it slowly, right? So you have to do both of these things together. You have to move very fast when you're doing AI development, but you have to use the engineering principles to make sure that they follow the guardrails, they follow the rules, that they're operating in a way where they don't but they actually solve problems and not create problems for you. I think our audience is going to feel really good hearing that because a lot of practitioners are a little nervous about the guardrails, but it was definitely a focus of yeah. today's presentation. How do you balance experimentation and reliability when deploying AI at scale globally? Yes. So um, the trick is to find problems before they happen, right? And one of the ways we do that is uh, we as Zendesk have collected billions and billions of tickets and cases over the years. So we have all of this data to train the AI on, test the data, uh, test the AI on, uh, do it in a local, regional way, respecting all of the security and you know other constraints we have in these places, and make sure that it's providing results and resolutions at the rate at which our consumers will expect it, but do so in a way that respects all the local rules and regulations. So the, the, the key here is using lots of data to both train the AI, test the AI, and make sure it's compliant. And with 5 billion resolutions a year, like there's so much data you have to work with, which is amazing. When we think of Zendesk, we think of simplicity and usability as well. How do you ensure AI tools remain accessible and also intuitive? Yeah, it's a really, really good question. Uh, so, you know, first of all, like the great thing about this wave of AI is that companies like OpenAI and Anthropic and Google, the first thing they did was actually build AI for consumers, right? So they came out of the gate with an interface, which was a human interface, which is talking in a language basically. And now that's been extended to you know voice and other channels. So that like we kind of have to center around that as the primary interface, which is instead of complicating it with lots of widgets and buttons and this and that, let's make sure it feels like a natural conversation 
that a consumer is having with a brand through an AI. And then there are ways in which we can make it special. So for example, you can give the AI a tone, right? Some people just want a very business-like interaction and be done. But for some people, what they really care about is a more friendly tone. And it turns out people just react better when the AI is actually presenting a friendly tone. And these are all adjustments we can make in the back. Right? So we can, the, the, the amazing thing about AI, the, the whole AI wave has been that it actually makes the user interaction a lot simpler than it used to be in the city. Yeah, friendly AI definitely that would resonate with me more. Um, let's let's end our time together by looking at the future. What are you the most excited about when we think about Zendesk and three to five years out? You know, first of all, I really believe that we have an opportunity to change the service space in a pretty dramatic way. You know, when someone makes a service call or uh, you know calls a call center, they do so because they have a problem, right? And they're often in already kind of a bad mood. And then we put them on a 20 minute hold and then they get into an even worse mood, right? And, and then the poor agent who has to then show up and solve their problem also gets in a bad mood. So it's like a way to infect everybody with like bad emotions. I think AI can really bring the temperature, right? First of all, AI works 24 seven. It's available all the time. It can solve problems instantly and it reduces the workload for the human agent who now also has a co-pilot who's helping them do their job better. So that human to human interaction, the quality of that is so much higher than it was before. And that's the goal we are working towards. All of this like technology and all of that, like yes, it's necessary, but we're working towards a world in which interaction between two humans are at a very high quality. That's very beautifully said. You're improving the vibes all over the world Everywhere. of employees and customers. That's the goal. That's this has been really nice talking with you. Thanks for stopping by the modern customer. Thank you so much. Really nice talking to you too. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like or subscribe and follow my social content on other platforms where I post content daily, including X, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and more. Thank you.